What is up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going over the best stretch resolutions to use in Fortnite Chapter 3. What I'll be doing is going over some important information and knowledge you'll want to have regarding stretch resolution. And then I'll be going into the game and directly showing you a few different stretch resolutions. And finally, I'll just give you guys my ultimate recommendation at the end. Before we hop into it though, if you do find this video helpful, then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more tips and tricks content just like this in the future. And finally, if you'd like to help your boy out a bit extra then consider using code techo in the fortnite item shop as it's 100 free and it really helps your boy out a bunch but with that said and without further ado let's get into today's video so to start off this video i want to begin by just discussing a bit of information about stretch resolution and why fortnite players use it in the first place so essentially stretch resolution basically refers to the act of changing the resolution of your monitor to give your game a stretched appearance in the past stretch resolution actually increased your fov aka field of view which is why it became so popular all the way back in chapter one obviously being able to literally see more around you is a pretty big competitive advantage and so it made sense the players use stretch resolution to become better at the game unfortunately stretch resolution received a big nerf near the end of chapter one and except for a few isolated incidents where people found bugs to get og stretch res stretch resolution hasn't been the same however even in this season there still are plenty of benefits to setting up stretch resolution which i'll go over now arguably the biggest benefit to using stretch resolution in chapter three is for the fps boost by using stretch resolution you're basically cutting off pixels from the horizontal horizontal axis of your screen, and less pixels to render means your PC can render more frames per second, therefore increasing your FPS. For example, changing from the native resolution of 1920 by 1080 to a stretch resolution of 1600 by 1080 which is a pretty popular one, changes your screen from almost 2.1 million pixels to around 1.7 million pixels. That's about a 20% difference which can make a massive difference when it comes to in-game performance. The second reason a lot of players use stretch resolution in chapter 3 is because of the larger characters. Essentially, with stretch resolution nowadays, since you have less pixels on your screen, a character in your field of view is going to appear larger, and while the actual hitbox in-game doesn't change, some players think that they play better with it and hit more shots with stretch resolution. I do want to reiterate, the stretch resolution doesn't literally make opponents easier to hit, but it can make them take up more space on your screen, which can give that illusion. Finally guys, the last reason why people use stretch resolution in chapter 3 is simply due to aesthetics. Some people simply feel like stretch resolution looks better than the native resolution in Fortnite, so they opt for using stretch resolution for that reason alone. But as with just about anything else in this game it really does come down to your preference and if you feel like stretch resolution looks better then that can be a good reason to start using it so now that we've gone over the main benefits of using stretch resolution hopping into this next section of the video we're going to be hopping into the actual game and i'll be showing you guys a few different stretch resolutions that are popular within the fortnite community starting off we've got 1720 by 1080 which is a relatively small stretch it's just under 10 percent less pixels than the native resolution and it has a pretty subtle appearance playing on this resolution you can definitely tell it's more stretch than the regular game but it's not too strong to the point where it interferes with anything so this is definitely a solid well-rounded option for a good amount of players it gives you a small fps boost it makes things on screen appear a tad bit larger and it gives you that stretch resolution vibe without interfering too much with your gameplay moving on to our next resolution 1600 by 1080 this is where it starts to get a little bit more noticeable most things in game have a noticeable stretch to them objects appear a bit wider on screen and overall it gives that stretch resolution type of vibe but similar to 1720 it doesn't really come off so strong that it makes your whole experience much different. So if you don't exactly get the kick you wanted from 1720 and you want to push it a little bit further, 1600 is definitely another strong option. Getting into our third resolution, which is 1440 by 1080, and this is getting more into the very stretched type of territory. Everything on your screen is very stretched and is pretty dang noticeable. It definitely gives off that vibe of stretch resolution, and honestly, this is going to be the area where most players' preferences are pushed. It's not too absurdly stretched where you simply can't play it, but you've also probably got to be a pretty strong stretch resolution fan to justify playing on this heavy of a stretch and finally guys the last resolution in this video is going to be 1280 by 1080 aka very 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 stretched only the stretchiest of stretchy players are going to use this resolution and a typical player is probably better off playing on 1720 1600 or 1440 if they want to push things a bit personally i do feel like this area is pushing a bit closer to unplayable territory at least for me but 1280 by 1080 is still a viable resolution that some players use it's definitely playable but everything is really just taken to the next level and it's kind of hard to play for some people and and this is probably just reserved for the biggest fans of stretch resolution so with that said guys that's gonna do it for our comparison just so you have a visual idea i'm gonna throw up a video of each one on screen right now just so you can see them side by side it's definitely a major difference between the four and when you compare them to the native resolution there's definitely a big difference in how the game feels so with that said now that we've gone over a few of the most common stretch resolutions i'm now going to give my personal opinion on which one is best so personally i don't struggle with fps much and while stretch resolution is fun to play with i don't personally feel like i would use it 
Alongside that, I'm also a content creator, so it's fairly important that my gameplay looks good to most players, and native resolution just tends to be the most commonly used and the easiest on most people's eyes. However, if you do want to try out stretch resolution, I'd say that less is probably more. Unless you're willing to lose a bit of your peripheral vision in-game for the stretched appearance and FPS boost, you're probably going to want to keep it around the 1720 or 1600 range. But overall, it really will come down to preference, so I absolutely recommend you try out multiple resolutions and see which ones you vibe with. Finally, guys, getting into the last bit of today's video, I want to do a super quick tutorial on how to actually set up stretch resolution since I know people are going to be asking in the comments. I'll try to keep it nice and short. To start, head to your file explorer and type percent app data percent. Click on the word app data to go back and then go to local. Head to Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and then head into game user settings. Scroll down until you see 1920 by 1080, assuming you're on native resolution, and replace everywhere you see 1920 with whatever number you choose. For example, if you choose 1600 by 1080, then type 1600 instead of 1920. There should be four different spots that you replace. From there, go ahead and save the file and then head back to your desktop. You want to right click your desktop and head into the NVIDIA control panel, assuming you have a GTX or RTX card. It's a different software for AMD, but the idea is the same. From there, go to the change resolution tab, customize, create custom resolution, and then change the horizontal pixels to whatever pixels you want. And then select test, then verify it. It might put you straight into that resolution, or it might make you actually go and select that resolution. So if you do have to select it, just go to the custom tab. It's right there. Basically, you'll just be able to click on it and apply. Finally, hop into Fortnite and your resolution should be all set. To undo your stretch resolution once you're done playing, it's pretty much the same process in reverse. Simply head back into your NVIDIA control panel and switch back to native. And if you want to remove or change the stretch resolution on your game at any time, you can do that in the same app data file that I showed before. But with all that said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the best stretch resolutions in Fortnite Chapter 3. Hopefully, this video helped you out to decide if you'd like to play on stretch resolution and to choose a stretch resolution if you do decide to go with it. If this video helped you out, then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. And finally, be sure to use code TECO in the Fortnite item shop if you'd like to help your boy out a bit extra. It's completely free for you and it really does help me out more than you think. But with that said, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.